Kenyans and in particular ordinary mwananchi have decried the current tough economic times with the hike in fuel prices, making life even harder as prices of basic commodities are also expected to go up. Kulingana na vila mafuta imepanda, we are expecting this to go get more harder. Juu sasa kwenda kuletua vitu tena kutoka kwa shamba sunona bado itakua iki cost. Sasa waki inkrisiwa, they still increase on us. Things are going to be high. Yeah, because due to the levies, things will go high and then imported imported fruits the prices will go higher still the energy and petroleum regulatory authority ipra on tuesday stated that the increase in pump prices is as a result of the removal of the subsidy that the government had put on fuel when the covid 19 pandemic hit the country and most of the business sector however the move has elicited concerns among stakeholders we fought the government because the government ought to have protect to, to protect the citizens. Because now, apparently, what they have done, it will have a, a very big impact on the ailing economy that we have at the moment. Mali imefika hisia yangu ni kwamba na najua niko sawa wale wengine pia. Uh, Tuesday's new fuel prices by April are the highest ever in the country. In Nairobi, for instance, one liter of petrol now goes for 134.46 shillings, diesel 115.60 shillings, as kerosene hit 110.80 shillings. The cost of living is expected to go high, and um, not only the transport costs will go high, but even because of the ripple effect, you'll actually see even food prices increasing. If you look at uh, housing because of electricity, all that is going to increase. Economic analysts now indicating that prices of basic commodities such as unga, cooking oil, cooking gas, electricity, among others, are expected to rise even higher. If you look at the trends over the, la the last uh, couple of months, the lower income have been significantly impacted. And even going forward, given their proportion of money they spent on, on food, housing and transport, they are definitely going to have to be the worst hit by this. Public transport users will not be spared either, as they may sooner or later have to dig deep into their pockets for bus fares. Already now, what the Matatus are charging is more. So we are requesting the government of Kenya that the people of Kenya have suffered. Let us not be put to another suffering again. There is no control in terms of what they can do on the global prices because we are net importer of, uh, of fuel prices. But what they can do is to think about, in terms of tax, what can they, how can they play around with that? I know it's a tough call given that the government right now is looking for, um, for money to finance their budget, but I think that is the only way that they can help cushion. In Mombasa, Nakuru, Eldoret and Kisumu towns, super petrol, diesel and kerosene have increased by between 132.46 and 135.13 shillings, 113.36 and 116.30 shillings, with kerosene going for between 108.57 and 111.54 shillings respectively. And even as Kenyans continue battling with tough livelihoods due to COVID-19 effects, things may worsen further if the government does not cushion Kenyans from the heavy economic burden. Fuel prices have continued to hike, with the ripple effects of the same being felt by Kenyans, especially the ordinary mwananchi, with the stakeholders now calling upon the government to remedy the situation. Nixon Kisaka, K24 TV, Nairobi.